This is a short video I make for John. He's a Dutch friend of mine who got a problem with a meter with the horizontal rollers. Here we got a two rate version that's uh, Landers and Gear. And this is a single rate version, the same meter as he has, uh, which seem to do some strange things. There's a CL2 with horizontal uh, number drums. We'll take this meter apart and uh, have a look how these dials work. This is the name plate, and we can take this off. This is a meter from uh, also 1960, which was recalibrated in 1974. And here we've got the register dials. Try to get some close ups. Um, the wheel is the black and the white lines, that's decimals. The first digit is the blank of decimal, which is behind the red field, that is uh, behind this field here. And then uh, one, the four is the singles, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. These little things are part of the Geneva movements, and they uh, interlink between, with a little spindle at the back of the register to flick the numbers over. As you can see, in between each number drum there is an other intermediate gear, which is part of the Geneva, so there is, you see a lot more extra shafts in here. If any one of those is out of alignment, um, yeah, there will be problems with the numbers. These spindles are held in place by with these metal clip-on plates, which normally... Um, now, I've never seen them come apart, but yeah, everything is possible. It could be an assembly error, so if numbers flick over. Um, I think you call this helical, helical gear. This uh, gear wheel this is connected to the main spindle, which uh, gets the because for this worm drive, worm gear drive, and the disc turns around. So the disc is the reference for the meter accuracy, which is uh, calibrated and the brake retar retarding magnets um, keeps the disc at a controlled speed as per the current rating of the device. Um, yeah, I don't want to take this thing apart because it's quite a cool register, but um, you might be able to see the small little wheels at the back. I'll zoom in. Hopefully it stays in focus. You see in the top Geneva, you see the small little spindle. And uh, you can see the one here, there. The other little spindle sits a bit lower. So it's quite a complex little register. It's quite well made. Really well made. All uh, aluminium. We'll spin the register around. See, um, I'll try to get a marker on here. This thing engages with the little cog at the back. Let's fix that over so all the numbers turn the same direction. As the meter advances through the number train. Okay, I hope you can see it. There, that Geneva is clicking the small wheel which drives the next. Uh, Number drum. So yeah, if that is not aligned up, strange things can happen. As I said, the numbers should all line up properly. They should be all clear behind the windows, unless it's in the meshing position. When it goes uh, rolls over from the unit to the next unit, uh, there might be some numbers sitting half between the windows. But they should all line up uh, clearly on this particular type of meter. Hope it helps, and uh, post some more questions, John, if um, if you're not sure. But I'm pretty sure your uh, meter has a uh, faulty register. So this meter reads 24506. And behind the red fields there's a blank of decimal, which uh, you don't really need for billing purposes. And you've got an indicator here, it's 10 watt hour. Uh, there are versions, okay this is a 2 rate meter, but uh, some ones have direct meshing. So this uh, window in here that's a 100 watt hour indication and it meshes straight into the main register so I'll take this nameplate off this particular meter and you can see the decimal wheel engages directly with the with the unit wheel so let's see if we can spin this thing uh, yeah these things must be a pain to assemble but um yeah I've worked uh, many years in the metering, I've never seen any issues with these registers uh, as such, so 
they're actually extremely well made, good lenders and gear uh, position equipment. So yeah, thanks for watching. American meter and J3S from Sangamo got the same type of register. Only the number of wheels are a lot larger on this particular device.